Board. Lord Reid will explain the decision of the court. This appeal is concerned with the circumstances in which a doctor is under a legal duty to explain to her patient the risks involved in treatment and the alternative forms of treatment which may be available. The case is brought by a woman whose child was born very severely disabled. The mother was diabetic, and diabetic women are liable to have babies which are larger than average. The baby's weight may be concentrated on the shoulders, making them the widest part of the baby's body. As a result, during labor, the baby's head may pass through the birth canal, but the baby's shoulders may then become stuck behind the mother's pelvis. The risk of that happening in this case was about 10%. If it happens, it is a major obstetric emergency which may involve drastic measures being taken to free the baby from the mother's body. There are risks to both the mother and the child. The mother in this case brought proceedings on behalf of the child in which she claimed that she ought to have been told of the risk of this happening and also told that the risk could be avoided by having the baby delivered by a cesarean section. Her claim was rejected by the Scottish courts. They followed a decision taken by the House of Lords 30 years ago in which it was held that whether a doctor's omission to provide information to a patient was negligent was normally to be decided by whether a reputable body of medical opinion would support that omission. In the present case, a number of reputable doctors gave evidence that they did not consider it wrong for the doctor to have failed to inform the mother of the risks and offered a cesarean, and so the mother's claim failed. She now appeals to the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court unanimously allows the appeal. It holds that the decision of the House of Lords should no longer be followed, as it was based on a view of a doctor-patient relationship which has ceased to reflect reality. Patients cannot now be viewed as uninformed, incapable of understanding medical matters, or wholly dependent on information from doctors. This is reflected in the guidance now issued to doctors by the General Medical Council. Changes in society and in the law point towards an approach which treats patients so far as possible as adults capable of understanding that medical treatment is uncertain of success and may involve risks, of accepting responsibility for risks affecting their lives, and of living with the consequences of their choices. This entails a duty on doctors to take reasonable care to ensure that a patient is aware of any material risks involved in proposed treatment and of reasonable alternatives. A risk is material if a reasonable person in the patient's position would be likely to attach significance to it, or if a doctor is aware or should reasonably be aware that the patient would be likely to attach significance to it. Applying that approach to the facts of this case, the doctor ought to have informed the mother of a substantial risk which was known to exist of the complication that in fact occurred and of the possible consequences, and should have informed her that the alternative of an elective caesarean section was available. If a mother had been so informed, it is clear from the evidence that she would have had her baby by caesarean section and the baby would have been delivered unharmed. The mother is therefore entitled to recover damages on behalf of her child.